This new Garnier Ombre Solaire SPF 50 Super UV Invisible Face Serum feels like velvet on the skin. What is this sorcery? Is this the best sunscreen of 2023? Let's find out. Hi there, I'm Dani. I'm a pharmacist specialized in cosmetology and I make fun skincare related content here on YouTube. Subscribe if this is your thing. Also, book a free skincare consultation with me in case you need one. The link will be in the description box down below. Now back to this new Garnier Serum sunscreen. Garnier claims that this sunscreen slash serum offers daily comfortable wear with very high SPF 50 plus protection against UVB, UVA and long UVA rays. This new formula is enriched with a ceramide that provides instant skin barrier function protection while reinforcing it. Plus, Garnier says that this sunscreen is more lightweight than other classical sunscreens and it becomes invisible immediately upon application. I have to agree with all of this. It is really lightweight and it dries down and absorbs really fast. So you have to work in sections. Plus, I had to use this UV magic mirror. It's a compact mirror with a built-in UV camera in it to actually see where I was applying it. So because of that, application can be very tricky and you might miss some spots if you don't have this tool. But overall, it is a good thing that it absorbs so quickly and that it becomes matte. And if you don't have this tool and you want to get it, you can use my code Danny35 to get 35% off. The link will be in the description box down below. Immediately after application, it feels very velvety on the skin. It's definitely not greasy nor sticky and it doesn't even give a shine to the skin. My skin looks completely mattified and as if I haven't applied anything at all. The finish on this sunscreen is out of this world. Since I already have this UV magic mirror, I decided to test the longevity of this sunscreen and see how much exactly of this sunscreen is left on my face after two hours. So two hours upon application, it was showing up a little bit lighter in the UV camera, but it was still there. And this is very good because usually when I apply a lightweight sunscreen, there's pretty much nothing left on my skin after two hours. For example, Beauty of Josian sunscreen. It's a Korean sunscreen. I love that one. It's really good, but after two hours, you have to reapply. There is nothing left on my skin. Now, since Garnier says that this is a really good base for makeup, I decided to test that as well. Makeup goes on smoothly. I did not have problems with my foundation. I did, however, find it difficult to blend foundation around my eye and it was a little bit patchy. Maybe I applied too much. I don't know. Yesterday, for example, I did not have this problem. I'm not sure what I did wrong today, but I somehow made it work. And as you can see, my eyeshadow is looking pretty good pretty decent, I would say. So my advice would be just not to apply a lot around the eye area in order to avoid creasing. This sunscreen has UV filters like Avobenzin, Juvenal T150, Dinosorb S, Mixoral XL, and Ensulazole. So in other words, no, this sunscreen does not have the same UV filters as UV Immune 400 by La Roche-Posay, the sunscreen that I previously proclaimed the best sunscreen of 2022. And no, because of that, I can't proclaim this Garnier sunscreen the best sunscreen of 2023. But what I can say is that it has better sensor characteristics than UV Immune 400. There, I said it. And before I give you my final verdict on this sunscreen, I have to mention two cons. First con is that the packaging is kind of small. It has only 30 milliliters. That is the size of a serum normally. And most of the sunscreens that you buy are 50 milliliters. 30 milliliters is the size of a serum, not a sunscreen. So that being said, you will use up this sunscreen faster than other sunscreens. But then again, if we look at it from another point of view, this small packaging can be very handy for traveling. The second con that I have to mention is that it does have isopropyl meristate. That is the ingredient that is highly comedogenic and sometimes gives me breakouts as well, even though I'm not acne prone. Now, luckily for me, I did not have such problems with this sunscreen so far. In case you do have acne prone skin, just be careful with this one. Okay, and now let me give you my final verdict on this sunscreen. I honestly love this sunscreen and I 100% recommend it. I wish the packaging was bigger, but I think it's amazing and I absolutely love the formulation and I 100% recommend it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more skincare tips and tricks and skincare related content in general. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!